Now, Manchester United are for sale. Or are they? And what's it doing to the club's value? Well, our chief reporter, Carve Solokol, here. Looks like they're taking a bit of a battering. Why? Yes, things are going badly for Manchester United on the pitch and they're going badly for United off the pitch as well. We are in the middle of the biggest sell-off in Manchester United shares on the New York Stock Exchange since United went public 11 days ago. You can see here on this graph, the figures on the left are dollars, the share price. United opened at around $24 this morning at 8 o'clock New York time. That's our time, actually. I've oh, just sorry. Been told. 8 o'clock UK time. Yep. Now, this evening, the share price is down to around $19. Ouch. So it is on track to be the worst day for United shares. £550 million has been wiped off the value of United at the lowest point of the shares uh, today. And it's the biggest drop in United shares. We're on track for it being the biggest drop since the 12th of March 2020, when the share price dropped by 13.8%. At the moment, it's down 20%. Is that because the Glazers are intimating they might not sell? It is purely because of a report in the Mail on Sunday, on Sunday morning, that said the Glazers are considering taking United off the market. The New York Stock Exchange was closed yesterday because it was Labour Day. So this is the first day that traders have had to react to that news. Now, the people who own Manchester United shares, they have been expecting the Qataris to buy United. And the Qataris are willing to pay more than the share price. They were willing to pay uh, something like £5 billion to buy the club. The share price values the club at around £3 billion. So if you had United shares, you were rubbing your hands thinking, here come the Qataris, I'm going to make a lot of money because they're going to buy my shares for a lot more than they're valued at today. That is why the share price has been going up since the Glazers announced in November that they were considering selling the club. As soon as reports come out that they're considering taking it off the market, then you see what happens. The share price comes down. What is interesting is that according to the share price, the market capitalisation of Manchester United, what the market thinks United is worth, is £3 billion. That is what United are valued at on the New York Stock Exchange at the moment. And we know the Glazers are asking for far more than that for Manchester United. They want at least twice that, £6 billion. And we also know that the Qataris, Sheikh Jassim, and also Sir Jim Ratcliffe's bid have been around £5 billion. So those two bids on the table already value United at far more than the share price, but not enough for the Glazers. Right, explain this to me. Do the Glazers give a monkeys about that? The reason I ask is, the moment they say they're going to sell, surely the share price will rock it again. Look, I, I think it'll be concerning. You know, they, they own the club. They own... 69% of the shares. So these shares that are traded on the stock exchange are uh, the other 31%. And they own the most valuable shares with voting rights. So, of course, they will be concerned. But the noises coming out of United... Uh, well, Glazers, somebody close to the Glazers who'd been speaking to the Mail on Sunday at the weekend was, they think United is undervalued. They want to pull it off the market because they believe that if they put it back on the market in 2025, United could be worth anywhere between £7 and £10 billion. Now, that is more than three times what the New York Stock Exchange thinks it's worth today. So this is just purely a reaction to the report in the Mail on Sunday that the Glazers were considering taking United off the market. Bad news if you own United shares, because this is the biggest sell-off on record since United went public 11 years ago. Difficult one for you, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Do you think the Glazers were ever serious about getting rid of Manchester United? I think they were testing the water. I think they were told, look, Chelsea was sold last summer in May. The Rain Group had so much interest in Chelsea. There were multiple bidders who wanted to buy Chelsea there is a market out there of people who want to spend big, big money on big Premier League clubs. 
I think they were convinced to put United on the market. But what has happened is that amount of interest that they were expecting hasn't materialised. They've only had one serious bidder for 100% of the club, and that is Sheikh Jassim from Qatar. And his position is, yes, I'm willing to overpay for United because they're a trophy asset, but you're not going to take me for a ride. Don't play me for a fool. When the stock exchange says United is worth three billion, I'll pay four billion, five billion, but I'm not paying six, seven, eight, nine, ten billion. So I think the Glazers have been disappointed by the response. They were expecting a lot more people to be interested in buying United. Calvay, I'm going to stop it there because you frightened me a little bit, but thank you very much.